You thought that uh, expired makeup and makeup sponges were gross? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Today, we are going to be looking at me. Warning! What you are about to see is about to be disturbing. It's going to make you a little bit sick to your stomach. You may look at my face and you may think, this skin looks pretty decent. <laughs> it's because you haven't seen it under a thousand times zoom, have you? I'm about to be extremely vulnerable with you. I don't ever want to hear from you again that you want to literally peel your eyes out after watching this, okay? I understand. If you're ready for that, strap in because shit's about to get weird. So a big part of today's video is going to be showing you what my makeup looks like under the microscope, showing you how the sparkles look, how my eyelashes look, how my skin looks, and then I'm going to be taking it off and showing you the befores and afters, and you're gonna see just how dirty things really are. And I'm really excited because today's video I'm actually partnering up with Foreo. I'm so excited that they wanted to partner with me on this video. What a better video to have a sponsor. <laughs> we got a sponsor. I'm gonna be using this little device in the video. This is the Foreo Luna Mini 2. This is a sonic facial cleanser made out of silicone. And I am going to be showing you guys what my skin looks like with foundation on right now. I just did my makeup a few hours ago. And then I am going to remove it first with the face halo. It's like essentially like using makeup wipes without having to like hurt the environment because it's reusable. And then I'm gonna cleanse my face with the Foreo Luna Mini 2 and then I'm going to show you guys after and I'm gonna show you guys each step of the way with the microscope. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm also gonna show you my eyes, just everything. You're gonna see everything. My whole head will be under that microscope within just a few short minutes. So if you guys are excited for this video, please subscribe, hit the like button and share with your friends if you wanna gross them out. All right, let's power up the microscope. Okay, well, who knew I was just so dry. <laughs> we all know that I have dry skin, but I didn't know, oh, dearie me. Look on the side of my nose. Okay, well, I shouldn't have done that. Stop. You guys, look at what skin looks like with foundation. Okay, well, there's like literal cat hairs all over my face and like little fuzzies all stuck into my foundation on my nose. Like, what is happening? <gasps> is that a blackhead? What is that? What is that? I want to scream. Oh my God, look at the crevice. Stop. Thanks, I hate it. Okay, wh what is that? Can, let me see if I can see that in person because why can't I see that? Okay, I legit cannot see that on my face. Like I cannot see it in person. Okay, oh, stop it. Me. What is that? Are those? Oh, wait a minute. So I put highlighter on the tip of my nose. This is what highlighter on the tip of the nose looks like. That. I was convinced. I was like, dude, I am disgusting. I need 87 facials. When I thought it was just me, I was like, stop. I need to confirm that this is not just my skin. Oh, it's not just mine. You know, Technology can be a beautiful thing. It really can. You can send rovers to Mars, create new medicines, you can create machines that you buy on Amazon, or you can see your deepest, darkest nightmares. Sometimes technology can be too much of a, too much of a good thing. Sometimes we as humans can know too much. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it. I've never hated anything more. I hate it, I want it gone. Let's do something about this. So it's interesting, you don't need any makeup remover for this just to get the majority of it off. You see, it takes off a lot of it. I'm gonna dip this in a little bit of water to make sure that we're getting it. So that got the majority of my foundation off as you can see on here. So let's see what we're working with now. Okay, well, that's not promising. Stop. Stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. Still a lot of glitter on my skin and you can still see the foundation in those crevices, especially like here, look. Oh my gosh, still so much sparkle on my skin. You can see it did leave some makeup behind for sure. In this area, you can definitely tell, you see right there? I am going to take the Foreo Luna Mini 2, I am going to put some cleanser on my face and I'm going to fully cleanse my face. I'm 
You got the little button down here. You turn it on and it pulsates. I've never wanted to wash my face more. There's nothing better than washing your face after you've seen what I just saw. Okay, so Harry, this is the crevice of my nose. Quite the difference. Upper lip. Dang, looking good. Okay, I'll take this any day over what it was before, okay? I never wanna see that again. All right, let's look down here where there was definitely makeup still stuck in the pores. So yeah, I really got in there and cleaned out everything. Okay, is that growing out of my face? Because if it is, help. Does it look awesome? No, makes me literally wanna scrub my skin off. Does it look clean? Yes. It's rechargeable. You can see on the back here, you just plug it in. It lasts typically up to about five months at a time charge. It's 100% waterproof. I love the fact that it's not replaceable brush heads, so it's better for the environment. If you guys are interested in checking out the Foreo Luna Mini 2 or any other Foreo products, I will have the link in the description of this video. You guys definitely should do so. I love mine so much. I've been using it for months and it's just been an awesome addition to my skincare routine. I really feel like my skin is super refreshed and cleansed after I use it and I just love it. We're gonna move on to the rest of my face. I have these things on my lips called Fordyce spots. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're like little white spots on my lips. They're very common, but I don't know why they're there and they bother me so much. So let's see what they look like under the microscope. Hmm. Okay, stop. Oh, wow. Look at that. Four day spots are whitish yellow bumps that can occur on the edge of your lips or inside of your cheeks. Less often, they can appear on your penis. The spots, also called Fordyce granules or Fordyce glands, are enlarged oil glands. But my question is, bitch, why? And why are they enlarged right here on my lips and why? I can't wear lip balms and stuff like that because they get way worse when I do. The weirdest thing is that keeping your lips really dry all the time, which mine are right now, seems to be the only thing that really makes a difference in a positive way. A part of being on the internet and doing this microscope series is being vulnerable and showing you my nose. I'm gonna show you my nose in the regular camera, which you can see right now. And like, yeah, like there's like spots on it and stuff, right? Let's zoom you in. Regular camera, nose. So like, not that great, but I definitely have like blackheads and stuff. And I have like some veins down here. And it's like, it's like at the end of the day, it's a relatively regular nose, okay? When you see this bitch up close in a second, you're going to scream. Maybe I'll do a pore strip. Do you guys wanna see what a pore strip looks like? Hmm, I actually already know the answer to that. Yes, you do. Don't judge me. Okay, each of those, oh my God. Those are the pores, dude. These are like the blackheads. all of that i want it out i want it out stop it i don't want to hear about this if i read about this on a gossip site so help me god let's move on to my eyes this has got to be good for my eyes oh wow look at that look how pretty that is wow that's not pretty This, what you are seeing right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very loose lash band. <laughs> oh wow, she's popped up. Lashes are out of here. Ew, look at that. Oh! Mascara. That looks like a spider of some sort. This is mascara on the bottom lashes. Oh. Let's pull this sucker off. Oh 
Oh my god, that's my eyeball. Hey. I'm interested to see how well the face halo can remove the majority of my eye makeup, like what's left over. It's a pretty good product. It removes makeup really well for having zero makeup remover on it, you know? Oh, you know what? It did a pretty good job. It definitely left so much residue. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. I brushed my teeth this morning. I cannot believe how this looks. Why are tongues so meaty? I'm never kissing my husband again. I am going to scrape the entire top six layers off my tongue. I only had two cups of coffee today. I've never in my life wanted to scream more than I want to scream right now. Is that removable? What is it? Okay, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and then I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go remove my eye makeup and then I'm gonna be back and we need to see if this is better because I, I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like where I am. I'm going to go scrub my tongue until I, it's, it's not there anymore. And I need to know that there's a difference happening as we speak. So I'm gonna go do those things and I will be right back. I can't believe I'm showing this stuff to the internet. Severely traumatized after that. I just scrubbed the entirety of my mouth. Let's see if my tongue still looks like that. I guess tongues are just white and meaty. They're so fibrous, sinewy. I scrubbed every inch of it, scrubbed. This just must be what tongues look like. I never wanna make out again. I, I can't believe this. Whoa. Well, if any of you were interested in what the Ferreo looks like under the microscope, there you go. All right, let's see what my eyes look like after cleansing the way that I normally would with a micellar cleansing water and my face halo. Okay, well, so much glue. This is after like really getting them good too. Like I was really getting them as much as I could. And this is as good as I would clean my eyes before bed. So you can see how much residue is still left over. Oh my God. Look at my nose ring. Stop it. I hate knowing this and I still can't stop. I've got a couple of different pore strips. Let's see if I can use these. I think I'm gonna use the black ones because I think that the gunk in my nose is going to show up better. These are the Biore charcoal pore strips. All right, my friends, I will see you in about 15 minutes. Ew. Oh, ew. <laughs> All right, it's been about 16 minutes, I would say. This is the most satisfying thing I've ever done. In my actual life. Holy shit.
Oh. Well, it definitely pulled some out. Could it have gotten more? I definitely think it could have gotten more. Wow. This side. Oh, wow. It got a lot though. I didn't know if these were going to work. Picked up a lot. Wow, who knew? Biore, hire me. I'm sure this is what you want on your ad campaign. That was so cool that I was able to get footage of it ripping off of my nose. Oh my God, that was so satisfying. All right, we gotta leave on a positive note, guys. One that's way less gross. We can't leave on that disgusting note. We can't do it. We can't. What we must do is see what hair that's unbleached and unprocessed looks like versus bleached. Let's see if there's a difference. All right, this is my first time, no dry shampoo. There is hairspray in my hair up here. Look at those little spots. They must be hairspray because if you look down here, nothing. Here's unbleached hair right here. Looks all right. Looks pretty healthy. Bleached. Ooh. Pretty. Shiny. Actually looks really healthy. It doesn't look like it's broken or damaged or anything. Carl, this is all you, baby. Let's see the ends. Let's see if you can tell that there, if there's any like broken split ends or anything. I did just get a haircut though, so probably not. Oh no, the ends look really nice. No, I don't see any split ends. All right, my friends, and that is the microscope video. Wow, 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 wow. I want to throw up and die. <laughs> Let me know what you guys would like to see next. I absolutely love filming these videos. They are so fun to me. They are horrifying, they are disgusting, but that's the thing. Everything under a microscope looks gross. That's what I always say. It doesn't matter how clean your skin is. It doesn't matter how much you brush your tongue. It doesn't matter how much you wash your hair. Seeing things at 1000 times magnification is just uncomfortable. Too close for comfort, as they say. Would love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing close up. I have some really good ideas that you guys have made suggestions on on other social media platforms after I made my last microscope video, which if you guys didn't watch it, I will link it up here. I showed expired makeup and beauty products under a microscope. I want to microscope everything. And I love that you guys love this series. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I did my last one, um, but I really wanted to do this video justice. I wanted this video to be my next microscope video and I'm so happy about it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys loved seeing everything up close and personal and in its hideous glory. I'm so sorry you had to see my body in that way, but just know yours looks the same. That makes me feel better. <laughs> if you guys are interested in checking out the Luna Mini 2 or any of the other products that Foreo offers, I will have a link down in the description of this video. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Share with your friends if you wanna gross them out, and I will see you at my next video.